Hello everybody. So someone asked me if uh, TensorFlow Lite would work with the excellent backend on Windows and I wasn't sure, I, I never tried it. So I went to read on the documentation and I saw that the, it, they claim that excellent pack uh, does work on uh, Windows. And so uh, I get reading and uh, uh, looking how we can uh, enable it. So there is the method for Android, there is a method for NIS, and there is the uh, recommended method on desktop. So what the docs says is that when building TensorFlow Lite with uh, Bazel, add this uh, flag TF Lite with XNN pack equal true, and the TensorFlow Lite interpreter will use the XNN pack engine by default. Um, okay, so uh, um, so this is what we are going to do. Uh, so uh, this is TensorFlow and it's already uh, configured uh, uh, in order to build the libraries. And this is the Basel uh, build command with uh, uh, with this uh, TF Lite with XNN pack uh, true. So let's run it. And while it's building, let's prepare uh, uh, the test code so we can see if there is any uh, um, performance improvements. So I'm just going to uh, uh, walk off this project of mine, the TF Lite WinC. Uh, basically, this is a, a project for running some TF Lite code in uh, Windows using the C API. Uh, there is a, there are setup uh, uh, instructions here, and there is also a YouTube video. Now, this project I recorded the video like a year ago, or maybe nine months ago. I don't know, uh, and I think it was with TensorFlow 2.4. Uh, now uh, we are going to run with TensorFlow uh, 2.7. Uh, this is uh, this is what we are currently compiling, TensorFlow uh, Lite 2.7. So I have the project here, the TF Lite C, and it's already uh, uh, set up. And uh, and we have the object uh, uh, detector here. Uh, so here. We have the run object detection method, and what it does is just initialize the detector and the running the detection on some test image, and then it uh, it prints the result. It's doing it only one time, so this is not good in order uh, uh, to test performance. Uh, the best way to test performance would be to run it uh, uh, to open the camera and uh, run a, a run detection. A, a continuously on a camera feed. So I I wrote a method that does exactly that. So let's paste it in. Uh, this is the method, run object detection live. Uh, here we are opening the camera. Here we are initializing the detector with some uh, uh, with an object detection uh, model, the SSD Lite mobile net. And this is where we would store our uh, performance counters. So we start to read uh, uh, from the camera in an infinite loop. We take a frame from the camera. Uh, I'm starting the timer to, to measure the detection time. This is where the uh, detection will happen. I'm stopping the timer. Uh, this for loop is just uh, drawing the, uh, the detection results. And this is uh, here I'm calculating the duration of the operation and I'm adding the duration so in order to calculate the FPAs I, uh, I, I, I we will not do it on after after every detection we will like we'll do it uh, uh, over a period of five detections so every five detections we are going to calculate the FPS for that five detection um, so this is this is what, uh, uh, what I'm doing here I'm doing here. I'm just calculating the FPS over the last five frames, and then I reset the the duration, so it will count the next five frames. And here we are just printing the uh, FPS to the top left corner of the image, uh, and we display the frame. So this will be our code, and we will run it with the uh, with the TensorFlow library that we are uh, currently building. So it's still bending. I'm gonna pause the video and wait until it finishes.
Okay, so uh, copulation uh, 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 was successful, and we built the TensorFlow Lite C DLL. Uh, so it should be uh, in uh, Basil Bean TensorFlow Lite C, and this is uh, 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 this is the DLL, and this is the lib. Now, if you look on the TF Lite Win C project, uh, it's con and how it's configured, so it will look for the TensorFlow libraries in in a folder uh, TF Lite uh, uh, dist, and in in this uh, in this location. This is just how I set up uh, uh, how I set up the project. So uh, this is the TF Lite uh, dist that I downloaded from this repository, uh, the uh, the latest version. Um, so under libs, uh, windows, uh, so this is the two libs that came with it. So I'll just rename this to uh, uh, two files and we will copy the files that we just compiles. compiled. So we take these two and these two were compiled using the XNN, uh, XNN flag. Um, so let's run our um, uh, let's run our, our our code. So instead of run object detection, we will do run object detection light. Okay, let's rebuild the solution. So will have everything clean and I'm also uh, building in the release mode so yeah we'll have all the uh, the, the best uh, compiling uh, optim optimizations and let's run so we don't care about the actual detection like if the detection is correct or not correct all we, all we, correct all we care about is the performance and the FPS so we can see at the top left corner in, in, in the blue that we have like 13, 14 uh, uh, FPS, something like this. It's pretty much steady around around this area. Uh, so this was using the excellent pack uh, uh, DLL. Now we are going to use the original DLL that were compiled without this, uh, uh, without this flag. Uh, so it was this and this. Uh, okay, let's again rebuild the solution. Okay, and let's run the project. And again, we don't care about the detections, only the FPS. And we can see that even with this DLL that was not compiled with the XNN pack, we still do get the 14 fps uh, so so obviously uh, uh, what the documentation says that a uh, uh, building with this flag uh, uh, will make tensorflow right interpreter to use the xnn pack engine by default either it's not correct or i didn't understand exactly what they mean uh, so i kept reading and I found that when uh, uh, that if we want to use the XNN pack, we actually should define a delegate and use the delegate. And this is kind of makes sense because if you want to use TensorFlow Lite with the GPU, you also have to uh, define the GPU delegate and use it. I just saw that the, uh, per the documentation that if we compile with this flag, we don't have to use the delegate. Uh, but obviously. Uh, 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 it doesn't work. So let's try to use the uh, the delegate now. So we are going to uh, we are going to define an XNN pack delegate. And so this would be our delegate. And we also need to include the headers for uh, 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 for XNN pack. So it should be under TensorFlow, Light, C. No, delegates, excellent pack, excellent pack delegate. Okay, uh, so if you look at this H file, 
we will see that we have the method uh, to create the delegate. So this is TF Lite XLN pick delegate create, and this is in order to create the delegate options. Uh, so we are going to use it when we create the interpreter. So this is where we create the interpreter. Um, so before we, uh, uh, this is where we define the options. So before we do this, we are create the delegate. Okay, so we create the the uh, excellent pack delegate options, and then we are creating the excellent pack delegate itself. And in order to use it, um, we should call TF Lite interpreter options add delegate, and we just add the delegate the excellent pack delegate uh, to the options and. That's it. Then we continue as usual to create the interpreter, uh, etc. So now let's rebuild the product project, and we should use the excellent pack delegate uh, 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 right now. And also remember, we are just using the regular uh, 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 the regular DLL. Uh, we are currently not using the DLL that was compiled with the excellent pack flag. Uh, so let's see what happens. Okay, so as you can see now, the uh, 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 the FPS that we get are around 30. So it's like almost twice or more than twice uh, 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 as fast as it was without the X and NPEG delegate. So what we learn from this is that one, the X and NPEG uh, uh, delegate does increase the performance and two, uh, compiling with the X and NPEG flag XNN pack flag uh, is not enough in order to enable the XNN pack uh, engine itself. Uh, okay, that's it. Uh, it was a nice. Uh, uh, it was a nice test. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.